got me worried. Why? I was trying to call you and you weren't picking. You know, Diana, I've always known that you were daft. But at least by now you should begin to learn some sort of exposure. You know the kind of husband you're married to. I'm sorry. But didn't you notice I was on another call? I was having a business conversation. You knew, you kept bombarding me with your irrelevant calls. What is it that you want? Okay, fine, I'm back now. What do you want? I'm sorry. I just got worried. You weren't taking your calls. It was getting late and I was worried about your safety. Really? That's my what? My security detail? Or my special aid? I'm sorry. I actually made the plantain and vegetable. I am not interested. I had dinner already. I do something to offend you. Where is that coming from? If I've done anything wrong, just tell me I'll apologize. You've changed. Really? Yes. You've changed so much. This this is not the man I married seven years ago. What's going on? You've not done anything wrong. I'm fine. Okay, so why have you been so angry? Especially with me. What is it? Baby. What's going on? What do you mean what's going on? I don't understand. Baby. You're, you're not supposed to be here. Isn't this place part of my house? I mean, don't I have a right to stay anywhere I choose to? Oh, come on. Yes, but you're not supposed to sleep here. Who says I can't sleep anywhere I want to sleep? I mean, do I have to sleep in the same bed with you every single time? <sighs> I'm just saying you have the right to be anywhere you want to be, but it doesn't feel right. Babe, please, have I done anything to offend you? Tell me. No. This torture is too much. I've not done anything. We're good. If you're done, you can go now. Are you sure? Or is it work from office? Is it stress? No, work is fine. And if you're in doubt, you can take a trip to the office tomorrow. Do your own personal outfit. We're good. Should I come and sleep here then? For what? Go to your room. Done seven years, seven whole years in marriage. <laughs> daddy. Happy anniversary, my darling. Thank you, thank you, daddy. Thank Wonderful. you, thank you. How is mom? Oh, she's okay. How are my grandchildren? Oh, they're fine. They've gone to school, but great. they'll be back soon. Great, great. Uh, let me get you something to drink. No, 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 no. I'm here for the whole day. I will be your guest. Aren't you the best father-in-law in the world? And you are the best daughter-in-law in the world. <laughs> but I insist, I'm still getting something to drink. Oh, just hold on. <laughs> uh, okay. Dad. Don't say anything. That for the best daughter-in-law in the world. No, it's not! <laughs> You're wonderful. You're wonderful. You're so wonderful to my son, to the family. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> oh. You know, she's so good. She's so good. She's so good. Very good. Glad my, my son died. Uh, 
Hold on. Ah. ah. Mm. Hey. Ha. Mm. This one you are dressed like this. Is babysitting you are coming to do? Babysit who? Please, when is the party starting? Eh? As you can see, I'm dressed already. Hmm. So, how is Hobby? Is he back? Um, no, he's not. But my father-in-law is around. He's upstairs. Oh, I see. So, there's a party after all. Thank God I'm well-dressed, though. Mm. No, that's not the point. He's here to see his son and his grandchildren. When he's done, he'll leave. Eh? Yes. Diane, this is your father-in-law. His father-in-law, who? Eh? <laughs> he even loves you more than your husband does. Hey. Just go and say this thing when my father-in-law is the way somebody else is. So before they go and misinterpret it. Don't worry now, eh? You know, Joy is not a vibe killer now, eh? Okay, oh. Mm. You'll start by removing your shoes. Removing my shoes? Who do you think you are? Please, please, please. <laughs> Where are we going from here? Oh. Ah, my wonderful grandchildren, welcome back from school. So how was school today? It was fine. It was fine? I hope you didn't fight in your class. Does it fight? Oh, son, you're back. Dad, <laughs> Dad, you're here. Yes, I am. I've been here. Oh, yeah. I've been here. Uh, your wife is cooking. Yeah, so, I know. So, how are you? I'm fine. Happy anniversary. Congratulations. Seven years is not easy, you know. I wasn't expecting to see you, Dad. What a lovely reception. I've been around. I mean, I want to spend the day with my grandchildren, and then your wife is cooking. So I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Dad. Welcome back, son. Um, if you would permit me, let me quickly freshen up. Go ahead. Enjoy Happy anniversary once more. Uh -huh. oh. All right. Okay, children, so you people, did you sing in school? What song was that? I can't remember any. You can't. <laughs> but you can remember. You can't remember any, eh? <laughs> Cheers, baby. You know, this place holds a lot of amazing, amazing memories for us. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Everything, yeah, yeah. It's only yeah you want to say. Well, what do you want me to say? Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Since we came, you've just been saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Eh, I've been the only one doing the talking. But that's because you like to talk. I don't like to talk. It's just that we came out and then, if you're quiet, I'm quiet. The whole place will be quiet now. Listen, everything is fine. Just drink up so that we can go home. Baby, what is it? You have really changed. What's the problem? Hmm? No. What about the food? You are mute. And that's how you keep expanding it. You know what? Let's just drink up and let's get let's the hell out of here. Let's just drink up. Let's just drink up. Guys are back. What happened? Steve says he's tired of me. Sorry, I I didn't hear you right. He says he's done with the marriage. 
He's tired. Oh my word. He said that to you on your wedding anniversary. This is the worst date I've ever gone on. So, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Nothing. It's okay. Tell me everything that happened. He just started acting out in his newly acquired self. And when I tried to find out what the problem was, he fled up. Like he's been waiting to explode. He exploded right in front of me. Joy, what have I done to deserve this? I love my husband and I don't want to lose my marriage. Don't worry. I'm sure his parents will put him back on track. His parents? He's so stubborn. When he set his heart to do something, he doesn't listen to anyone. Wait a minute. Are you sure it's not what I'm thinking? Because I am going to kick his balls myself. What are you thinking? Don't worry about my crazy head. All we need to do now is how to get his eyes back on you. Okay? That's the most important thing. What can we do? I got you, baby. Don't worry. Go to bed, go to bed. Who's laughing at you? Stop all this nonsense. Don't, 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 touch, don't touch me. What's wrong with you? Baby, you don't know what else to do. You can't just say that you, you totally hate me, that, that you don't even want me to touch you. So listen, I'll just be very, very honest with you, okay? I no longer love you, alright? In fact, all I want right now is for this marriage to be over. What are you saying? I'm saying I want a divorce. How can you say you want a divorce? God forbid. God forbid. It's not our portion. It's our portion. Okay, listen. I want something different for my life right now. Not this. Babe, I love you. As I am, I can't survive without you. If anything happens between us, I will die. Please, if I've offended you, forgive me. Okay? Please. He's not offended. What about the children? Just consider them. Are you trying to play that card on me right now? Using the children? Let me tell you something. Orphans survive, okay? How much more children that were born by divorced parents? Orphans and children from divorcees are two different things. It will affect my children's mental health. It will, it will, it will, it's, it's a bad stigma. It's not even my prayer. Madam lecturer, how come there are no multitude of mentally deranged children walking all over the streets of Nigeria? Please, please just spare me the lecture and the old details about orphans and, and, and divorce and, and, and whatever methodologies. I've made my point and it's final. Please don't touch me, I want to sleep. Please, that's my bone. Visit. What is it? Huh? What is it? What happened now? Huh? How are my grandchildren and, and my son in law? Are you okay? Um, Steve says he's tired that he wants a divorce. Eh? Tired of you? Yes. How? 
I hope you're not giving him troubles in the house. I am not. I really don't know what has come over him. What is all this? Eh? Have you told his parents? No. Why? Eh? I, I came to you so that maybe you can come and talk to him on my behalf. Maybe he'll listen to you. When did this happen? Last night. The same yesterday that was your anniversary? Yes. No, down. No. Eh? Okay, um, I'll come and see him after school. Eh? Because I have a test scheduled for the children already. Okay? Okay. The thing is, he was going out when I, when I left the house. Oh, you see, even if I follow you now, I won't see meet him in the house. Eh? So, um, let me say, I'll come and see him in the evening. Oh? It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. I'll come and see him in the evening. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. Ma'am, <sighs> just have a good look at your daughter. You even look younger than her. She lacks every sense of femininity. All she knows how to do is expand, expand, and expand. So much that she's not even beginning to look like an Amoeba. Uh, baby, you know I wasn't like this before. It was when I started giving birth that I started gaining weight. And are you the first to give birth? Hasn't your mother given birth to three? And she's still looking this amazing? What about my own mother? What about the flock of women who have given birth to six, seven, eight children and they still look sexually appealing? You have lost your sense of femininity. My in law, it's okay. Mm. Huh? I understand everything you have said. Hmm? Uh, Diane, please, listen to your husband's complaints and do something about it. No, 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 no. She should not do anything about this. Because I am no longer interested in what she has to do or what not to, to do to save the situation. I want out. I am no longer in love with her. I want a divorce. <laughs> uh, but the complaint has not gotten to a divorce matter. Eh? Or is there something you plan on telling me? I am tired of Diana! Wait. You are tired of a woman you profess love to? Well. People do fall in and out of love, don't they? Then it was never love. It was not. If you put it that way, maybe you're right. Uh, uh, since you have made up your mind, eh? I'm just wondering what has influenced your decision. Nothing has influenced my decision, okay? I have made my point and I believe it's clear by now. Well, your point is not understood. Hmm? Legally, you cannot just wake up one morning and call off a marriage of years. You don't do that. On a flimsy excuse that your wife is getting out of shape. You know now. No court. I repeat, no court will grant you such a divorce in a hurry. Fine. Then let the court not grant me a divorce in a hurry. But let me make it clear to you. If she chooses to stay here and give the entire family heartaches and headaches, I will live with her as if she doesn't even exist. Uh -huh. Baby, I promise you, I will lose weight. Please forgive me, if not for me, for the sake of the children. I still love you. Mom, I do not want to disrespect you, but I have an urgent appointment to catch up with. Have a great day. <laughs> Steven, I still love you. Has it got into this? <laughs> so, what do we do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I know, I know. Oh, really? <laughs> Uh, yes. What's the problem? You've been sitting in the car since you came. <laughs> so, this is my house, okay? And this is my car. I mean, if you are needing for anybody to babysit, why don't you go babysit your children? I'm not your child. No, I was just worried. Like, 
Maybe you should come Keep inside. Keep your attention yourself, okay? Um, focus on your children as well. Yeah, so as I was saying before, I was uh, really interrupted. So, tell me, how do you like it? <laughs> me too. <laughs> I saw on Facebook that it's your husband's birthday. Yes, it is. So He's turning 40 this year. Wow, so where is the party? Party? Mm -hmm. After everything I've told you is going on in my marriage, you are talking about party. Uh -uh. Look, this is the time to do something that will excite him. Mm? Something like what? That will spice your marriage up now. Yeah, but what? A surprise party. My husband can't even stand me now. And you're talking about a surprise party. Every little thing I do irritates him. See? We will we'll surprise him with a party, and if he doesn't want to come out, we will look for a way to pull him out. Seriously. First of all, we're not even sure he's going to come. And then secondly, even if he does, what if he gets there and gets angry and turns back? Diane, you have to be positive for once. What if you don't do something and someone else does? Eh? Somebody else like who? Listen, she loves your husband, right? Yes. And you still want to stay in this marriage? Yes. Then you have to fight for it. Make your marriage work. birthday in the morning but this is for you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear husband happy birthday to you may the good lord bless you may the good lord bless you happy birthday dear husband happy birthday to you Want to take a look at your gift? Let me help you with this one. <laughs> it's okay. Are you coming back? Try to look before you leap so you don't destroy yourself. Okay, I'm waiting now. You're gonna burn. Yeah, no, you can. I'll join you shortly. Go ahead and continue. You know, it's a very good thing that I I took the children to mom's place. Hmm? Very good. At least you and I, we can have the night to ourselves. To do what? To do things. See, I was thinking, why don't we go on a vacation? I'm not interested. All expense paid, I will pay for it. I am not interested. Baby, we need it. Just no we, okay? I am not interested in going to any vacation with you. Steve, I know that everything about me irritates you. I'm glad you know. But baby, please give us a chance. Okay? It might just be a phase that will pass. I love you and I don't want this to destroy our relationship. But when are you going to understand that I don't love you anymore? And I don't want to spend the rest of my life with you? 
you love me. You, you, you might love me back tomorrow. Let's just, let's just go on this vacation for a few days. And if you still think that you don't love me, then I will understand. So the only reason I agreed to go out on a date with you is because I didn't want you to, 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 to finish me at home with all your emotional blackmail. You understand? And for the singular reason that I agreed on the birthday treat which you did, should not give you the audacity or the confidence to start demanding for a vacation. Who knows what next you demand for? My funeral? This is Eve, Eve, Diana. I, I figured that since today is an important day in my life, I should uh, invite someone special. You know, she's a special friend and all that. If you don't mind, she can hang out with us. Um, if you're not comfortable with it, it's fine. I, I can be here. Oh, she's fine. She, she's, she's okay with it. What would you like to drink, by the way? Can I call the waiter? Wait up. Uh, um, Diana, I have called a, a taxi to pick you up. We'll be here shortly. All right. So let me go drop a long call. Nothing. I, I didn't do anything. He's even the one that disrespected me. He invited an, an unexplainable guest to the to the private birthday that I that I organized for him. He brought in another woman. Yes. And you didn't do or say anything to him or the guest. Nothing. I didn't say anything. Are you sure you did not say anything to him that pissed him off? No, mommy. Dad, your hair is done. Daddy. Yes. Chief, welcome. Yes. What's the matter? Daddy still says he wants a divorce. Is he? Is he going mad? Chief, calm down. Calm down. Let's talk. We have not had anything. What is Chief? Calm down. Let's go. What? What? Where is he? We have not heard anything from my son. No, let's see. I hope you have not created any questions like this. Well, I, at first, I, I didn't know it was that serious. So I told my mom and asked her to please talk to him on my behalf. And that's when I realized that he was serious. Are you sure? Because I don't want to get there now and there's another story we'll be hearing. What nonsense are you talking about? How could he drive his wife from the house to bring in another woman? Huh? Is he crazy? Chief, don't even say that. Don't start, please. A lot is happening out there, both in social media, online. We are seeing so many things. Me, I don't trust this generation. I don't trust them at all, please. Ah. That's it. Straight. Let's go. Come. Thank you. And if I don't go with them now, they'll say that I'm a bad mother anymore. So, Stephen, it's got this bad, right? Oh, I'm fine now. You have the guts to bring this woman into this house. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. You've lost all sense of responsibility. That this is my house. I, I am your father. Uh, Stephen. Marriages are not like oranges that you pick up, suck dry, and throw away. Pick up at night. It's a lifetime commitment now. Thank How you. long do I need to emphasize that I am so choked in this marriage? Now, how could you be choked? This is a wonderful lady, beautiful, dutiful wife. How could she be choking you? I've told him. 
If there's something I have done, I'm willing to work on myself. Just give me time so that we can work out, work out our difference. Well, like I said before, I am done with this marriage. Ah, you look me in the face and say that? Chief, please, please, let us stop all these things now. What is it? My son said he's no longer in love with this woman. Why are you stressing it? Eh? Is that not enough ground to, to, for a divorce? What is it now? Stop it, Biko. Oh. You know, the funny thing, Dad and Mom, I no longer feel like a man whenever I'm around Diana. Oh. There's no iota of intimacy. I feel nothing. I don't even know the words to use to express this. I, it's just no affection. In fact, we've not even touched each other in the last three to four months. I mean, how long do I have to stress this? I'm tired. I, I don't want this anymore. Have you not seen it? I told you, have you not seen it? He said the love has died. Pain. Why are you pushing it? Do you want us to tie their legs together? Is that what you want? Please, please, nobody should stress anybody. Or nobody should pressure anybody. Nobody should just do anything to anybody. Please, let anybody be. Ah. You know what? I am not leaving my husband for another woman, let alone you. I will not grant that divorce. Oh. I called you here because I wanted to plead with you. You are a very beautiful woman. You are extremely beautiful. And I know that there's a man for you out there. Really? Yes. Where did you see him? My, my, my husband and I, we've been married for years. And he loves me. He loves me so much. <sighs> you know, and I love him too. I just believe that whatever is happening now is a phase. Mm. And if you don't even want to forgive me or have mercy on me, look at my children. I don't want to be a mother and a father to them at the same time. Please. <laughs> Diana. I really don't know why you're begging me. How do you expect me not to love a man who is helplessly in love with me? How? Tell me. You know that thing they say about women supporting women. Please, let's apply it now. <laughs> eh? Please. I, I, it's not good for people to say that you had to destroy another woman's marriage so that you could be happy. No, 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 no. Look, I will not take that from you, okay? I didn't break your home. You did. Your husband needed help and he came to me. I mean, look at me. Okay, let me, let me. Let me get up for you to look at me. Look at me. I'm beautiful. I have the looks. I have the vibe. I bring the energy. I have all it takes that would make a man keep falling for me over and over. You don't have it. Your husband can't see someone like me and ignore it. It's impossible, darling. Make it make sense. What cream do you use? <laughs> um, Helen, it's unfortunate that we're bringing back your daughter. My son is aware of what is happening. He's aware of the children they have together. But he has also decided to break the marriage. It is his sole responsibility. It is the action he has taken. So we brought your daughter back. I'm really sorry. Well, Chief, I've heard you. It's okay. I will take my daughter back home with me. Hmm? But you see your son, Steve. He will regret it. He will rip from all this. That I promise him. Eh, 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 eh. Mama Diane, please. Please, I'm begging you. Do not curse my son or insult him before me. I won't take it all. What is it now? Eh, instead of you to applaud him for being very responsible and matured. Oh, shut up. What sort of responsibility is that? Huh? 
What sort of not being responsible is that? A man is tired of love. He called a family meeting in peace and said he's no longer interested in the marriage. Is it by force? Eh? Instead of you to give him his flowers and applaud him, you are here saying nonsense. I'm applauding. I am applauding to the mother of the most honorable, honorable man of the century. I'm applauding you. I salute you. I Helen, please pay no attention to that. I am not begging your son to stay married to my daughter. I am not. As for the dowry, I will return it when I inform my late husband's family. This is all right. Ah, Chief, what is all right now? Eh? What is all right? Don't you know tradition again? A man that they have children together, you say you want to return bride price. Will you shut up? What do you know about tradition? What? A man wasn't he thinking about the children when he was doing that? No, 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 please. Just leave my children out of this. Please, I beg So you want to tie my daughter down? And move on with your life, right? You see that diary? I have that money in my bag. I can pay you back right now. Uh, uh, Helen, Helen, please don't take any rash decision at this point in time. Go back to the family and explain to them before you do anything rash. I will inform them and I will explain everything to them. But as for the children, I will not deny them their father's identity. I will not. But the children will stay with me. Oh no, they will not stay with you. They will stay with me. I'm their grandmother. Don't you even go there, ma. Please, with all due respect, leave my children out of your mouth. Leave them out. So you will have to sign the divorce because they're pensioners. That's not the point. You will sign the pensioners. You see that divorce? We will sign it. She will sign it. It is not a death sentence. Did you hear me? It is not a death sentence. Let us go. We will sign it. Rubbish. Are you anti? Sign it. It's not it by force. What is it? It's not by force. Now sign it. If you want to carry the children, carry them. When they grow up, they will come to their father. Now, see, don't mind the baby. You have done the right thing. If you don't love her again, it's not by force. Now, ah, he. No, no, this hand, this three like this. Three. <laughs> oh, Diana. Come, 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 come down from that place. What are you doing with my children? What are you doing in my house? How did you get access to this place? You know, you have a girl with you. Great. Thank God you've met them. Can you now please allow these innocent children enjoy a good relationship with their dad? Well, they'll be having siblings very soon. Huh? Get used to that. You know you're very, very shameless. Well, you see, I love Stu, and he loves me too. If that's being shameless, that's a wonderful description. Do you know how long I've been with that man? Seven years. I have suffered with him. We've gone through thick and thin together. And you think you love my husband more than I love him? Well, darling, when you finally give him a divorce, I'll advise you, hmm? when you see a young, handsome man out there, don't hesitate to snatch him from a woman who's not ready to take care of him. How don't dare you? Dare. What has come over you? Outside, I suggest you join her before you cross the scene. Why are you crying over that good for nothing boy? That he goat? Huh? Mom, he's my husband and he's the father of my children. He doesn't deserve you. Just forget about him. <sighs> your kids and you, you and your kids will be fine. Mom, we will not. I can't. You and your kids will be fine. Okay? You'll be fine. Why am I this fat? It's nature. It's childbirth. 
if hormonal changes. Am I the first woman that will give birth? Am I? Diane, stop it. Just stop it. I won't have you blaming yourself for any reason. No, I won't. Mom, my, Be fine. my husband left me for another woman because I'm fat. Okay. Maybe I should go inside the kitchen, get some knife, knife and cut off some fats, so that will be okay. Huh? It's okay, you'll be fine. You're gonna burn. Yes, you're gonna burn. Cause you're gonna burn. Yes, you're gonna The time is almost over. Eh? I would have told them, let them follow me to school where I will register them. Where my eyes will be seeing them. Hmm? Mom, it's not necessary. I spoke to the school and requested that a bus brings them to this place and takes them to school from here. Hmm. All right. It's okay. It's just that it's quite a distance. Yes. They will agree. Yes, they did. It's just that it's going to cost more money. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. Anyway, let them finish the term there. Eh? Uh, but for now, how would they go to school? I'll go and drop them. You. You with this your widow widow face. You want to go and drop them? Mama, yeah. Don't worry, I will drop them. No, don't worry, I will. Drop uh, are they ready? Junior is almost ready. Uh, I'll oh. drop them. It's okay. Okay. Um, let me check who's at the door while okay. I go to work, okay? Right. Just take care of yourself. Yeah. Hello, hey, how are you? Ah, madam. Why have you not been taking your calls now? I went to your house and your husband told me that you were here with your children. What happened? My marriage is over. Hey. My husband. D don't drop it. Don't let it drop. You don't have to cry for that he good. He doesn't deserve you at all. He doesn't. He doesn't know he's the one losing. He's the one losing, not you. My life is finished. The Just life is not look finished. at me. Come on. Um, I got an about An about tea for you. With a fat burner. Especially tummy fat. Are you being serious right now? I don't want it. What's the point? My marriage has ended. Why am I drinking all these things? For yourself, Diane. You need it. I don't need it. I'm okay. I'm fine. I don't want him to drink any of this. You need it. And you're going to take it. There's no point. I'm in not fact, in the mood. In fact, I am hitting the kitchen right away to make a cup for you. Just stop. Please. I don't want it. Don't dare me, Diane. I will force it down your throat like a child. Seriously. I know you're looking out for me. But just look at me. Do I look like someone that has energy to be drinking all this? I don't want it. Not now, please. Come on. Wh what are you mourning? Eh? A dead marriage? Are you the first? Or are you going to be the last? Come on, it. I won't be here and allow you wallow in depression. Never. You have your life. Life is important, Diane. I have failed as a woman. My husband chose another woman over me. That is why you should stand up. 
Stand up and give your life a fresh start. I don't want a fresh start. I don't want a fresh start. I'm just done. Really? You know I won't leave you alone. Do you know? I won't leave you alone. Listen, I'm your best friend. Hmm? I'll be right here with you till you come out of it. It's better you leave me alone. I won't. I don't want people seeing you and running away from you because you're friends with a divorcee. I don't want men running away from you. People will think you can't keep a marriage since your best friend is divorced. Mm -hmm. I hear you. So when your marriage was still intact, why didn't I find a man? Eh? Answer me. Why didn't I find a man? Please just stop with this, your stupid talk, before you get me angry. Just stop it. Stop it. Madam, too much of everything they say is bad. Too much of mm. You have taken this to like five cups since evening. Eh? Huh? It's bad. Too much of everything, not when it comes to this, my fat. It can never be too much. <sighs> Any educated man in Africa behaves like an illiterate. When it comes to medication, especially in this country, Nigeria, mm. we have A1. Oh. Yes, A1 in drug abuse. This fat that I have, there's no hand measurement, so I'm taking it according to the size of my body. And what is the size of your body? Fat. Hey, you don't know what you're saying. You don't know what you're saying. Um, my fat is very stubborn. If I don't drink it like this, it will not work. So I have to be taking it, taking it, taking it, so that I can work. And you're still drinking? What is it? Oh. What is it? I think it's starting to work. My tummy. Diana, this is what I've been warning you against. I've been warning you. Mm. You are still drinking it. Ah, ah. 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 What is it again? I want to go to the toilet. Leave this. Hey. Use this one. Hey. This is one thing I don't like about this herbal tea, eh? I don't like it. Once you take overdose, there is no remedy, eh? And this is what I've been telling my daughter, but she will not listen. Mom, please just send her a message. When she puts on her phone, she'll see it. Mm. Do, do I even have the will to send any message? Do I, do I have the will, eh? Mm. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. See, you have to throw the tea away. You throw it away. Throw it away. No, I'll finish it. I'll manage and finish it. You'll finish it? Mm. Okay. On the condition that you follow the prescribed dosage. Uh, eh? No, I'm okay. I thank you. Mm. Uh, but wow. come to think of it, is it the, the tea, the dosage that you took that is causing all these things? Because I don't understand. What else could be causing it? The way I'm looking at you, are you sure you're not pregnant because you're shivering too much and constant vomiting? Pregnant from where? How? When? Where? Uh, 
are you sure? Because this whole thing is now looking like uh, a reaction from an attempted abortion. Are you sure? Mom, stop. Mom, stop, ha. please. Okay. Mm. It's okay. I, 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 I don't know what else to do now. Eh? Mm. You have my back. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> so, what do you want to talk to me about? The death. It's about you and I. I have nothing to do with that. For that, I will be needing your blessing eventually. That's all right, you can go ahead. Dad, I know you're still offended about how I ended things with Dad. How I abruptly ended our relationship. Well, life must move on. Well, uh, Stephen, your mom and I have been married for over four decades now, and she has always offended me, but I've not kicked out of my house. But Dad, you know that is a different scenario. You and my mother have grown in love, and that's why you're able to grow up to old age. And how am I sure that this one you are professing your love to now, you will still maintain that love till old age? Now, the thing is, in the case of me and Diana, I fell out of love with her. So there was no way I could grow old with a woman that I'm no longer in love with. But me and Eve, I can assure you, I love her so much, as much as she loves me too. You see. It's all right. I understand you're going to the registry. Yes, that will be in a month from now. All right. Thank you, Dad. Um, there's something else I need to talk to you about. What is it? Mother was heartbroken last night. Oh. And how can somebody who has just broken someone's heart be talking about another person whose heart is broken? Oh, come on, Dad. See, she only felt that you were angry because of, you know, my wanting to get married to Eve. And that's why things turned out that way. You see, Stephen, like I said, your mother has been with me for more than four decades now. She has never one day apologized. Now, after insulting me and calling me wicked, she has not apologized. So special about this place. I mean, why did you insist we come here? Today is your birthday. Though. Allow me to spoil you. Allow me. Allow me to spoil you. Yeah, today is my birthday. But this place holds a lot of memories for me. I met my ex here. You mean Steve? Yes. He proposed to me here. We shared a lot of good times here. So oh, this is to say that this place is a convenient spot for you guys. You know if you have told me this before now, I wouldn't have allowed it.
morning. Good morning. Um, um, I have been following you from that side and I know I've been looking for a chance to just say hi to you. Oh, okay. Hi. Um, my name is Harry, by the way. What, <laughs> what's your name? to go look for a job. Wow, that's a good one. Have you seen any vacancy yet? No, I just thought about it this morning. Uh, okay. <sighs> I can't believe I allowed him put my career to a stop. Look at me, first class graduate, business administration, now turned housewife. Diane, why do you keep flogging yourself over Steve? Why? Mom, I'm not flogging myself. I just realized I've wasted my life. Wasted it all. OK. One day, he will look back. He will remember all your sacrifices. I mean, he will remember them. Then he will appreciate you, even in your absence. Steve doesn't remember nothing. If he did, we would not have been separated. And all our good memories would not have been forgotten. Um, uh, we, we were talking about getting a new job. Uh, 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 let's get back to that, oh. OK? I will need referrals. Uh, OK. Um, yes. I will talk to your uncle. Then I will also talk to my friend's husband. We'll now put our heads together and get something out. Oh, thank you. Um, I think by today, my own CV will be ready. Woo, that's yeah. the spirit. <laughs> now you're behaving like my daughter. I like that spirit. <laughs> also, you may not meet me at home when you return. Oh, that's OK. Um, you see, a friend of mine told me about an opening in a corporate firm. OK. Yes. Uh, she told me, like, um, I think that was last week. So. Um, I didn't want to pressure you, you know now. I didn't want to pressure you because I, I, I wasn't, I don't think you're ready for anything yet. I'm ready, I'm very ready. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, when I get to school, I will tell her, then I'll collect the details and I'll forward it to you, okay? Okay. All Please right. don't forget to. Uh, I'll I even call you self. <laughs> I would, I would. See you later, okay? All right, All right. bye. All right. Thank God you were not rude to him when you guys met. I couldn't have been rude to him. <laughs> girl, you're such a lucky girl. <sighs> you just got a job in a twinkle of an eye. Babe! <laughs> I must confess, all you did your head. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey. You look good. Thank you. But wait a minute. I like this, your new dress sense, so I hope you don't deviate back to that, your BK dressing Who kind dress? of. Who the dress in BK dresses? Are you saying that I dress like an BK? And you call yourself my friend. You didn't bother telling me. I thought your husband liked it that way. Girl, please, don't even just get me upset. Don't mention that name here, I beg. OK, sorry. Um, on a serious note, how cute is this guy? He's very cute and, and calm, mm -hmm. nice. OK, <sighs> tell me, is he a potential husband? To who? To you, of course. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You guys are looking for your husband. Don't tell me you want to remain unmarried for the rest of your Girl, life. Girl, stop, really? I just thought, mm -hmm. OK. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Hello, Daddy Boo. I'm fine. Mm? Oh, at my friend's place. Come. Oh, don't worry. I'll meet you up. I'll meet you up very soon. Okay. Bye. Daddy Boo. Yeah. Is that the new one? Yeah. Why didn't you let him come pick you up? You didn't want me to see him? You're not proud of him? Sugar Daddy? Just call him what he is. Hello, Sugar Daddy. If he's nice, add plus. Sugar Daddy plus. If he's very nice, add Sugar Daddy plus plus, you know? Daddy boo. Daddy boo. <laughs> There's no one out there. <laughs> Daddy boo. He's an old man. Call him what he is. Sugar Daddy. Hey, baby. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You don't know your baby me. Hope this is not about signing that print up. No, baby, we have to sign it. Why do we have to? Because it's important. No, babe. What's important is that I love you. And you love me too. And you and I are going to have a court wedding in which after that, you will have all entitlements to all of my assets. Goes to the registry without signing a prenup. Me? Well, not me. Then I'm not getting married. Oh, come on, don't take this prenup thing too serious. What's up with the prenup thing anyway? Hey, look, you have you have an ex and you have other kids. I'm just trying to protect the future of my of my own children. Okay, I see where this is coming from now. But let me assure you, Diana and the kids. They will not be bothering us because they're mm. all settled. Mm. That's what you think. Until one day someone comes to this house and starts claiming inheritance. What do you mean? Babe, look. I'm not trying to have an argument with you. All I just want you to do is just sign the print of like every other normal civilized person. Well, apparently I happen to be one of those humans on earth that is not civilized. As a matter of fact, I don't even know the meaning of prenup and any of its importance. Well, honey, I'll teach you really? how to be civilized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you educate me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here. Stop, babe. Look, I'm trying to have a serious conversation here. Oh, my God, you're such a cute joy. Okay, so what next? Okay, so who's your next of kin? My son. You see? You have to change that. Why? Because I can't be married to you and another woman's child is inheriting everything you have. Eve, that's my son we're talking about. What about ours? Uh, what, what do you mean? I don't understand. I'm what, pregnant. What? You're pregnant? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you're pregnant. Why didn't you just say so all along? You were pregnant. Oh my god, we're going to have our own baby. I found out yesterday. Really? You confirmed it? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I don't know, I just hope it's a boy though. So you see, honey, that's why you have to change your next of kin. Yeah, yeah, now I'm beginning to see your point. You know what, um, I will do something about it, okay? I will get in touch with my barrister. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, come here. Mm. You see? I'm so happy. Oh my god, you were pregnant. Yeah. Oh, another baby on the way. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. Mr. Steve, my noble client. Hello, Barrister. Yeah, good day, Mr. Steve. How are you and your family? I'm alright. And what about you and the family? I am good. Um, Barrister, I'll need to come see you. I hope all is well. I need to change the name of my next of kin. Why do you want to change the next of kin and who are you changing it to? Don't worry about it. When I come, you know why. All right, then. When are you coming? Okay, uh, let's stay tomorrow by 10 a.m. Okay, I will be waiting, my dear.
Here Sorry, you are. I kept you waiting. Well, it's all right. I haven't been here for long. I never knew you were going to call. Uh, well, I wanted to see you again. Yeah, am I? Good to see you then. Same here. Can we do this often? Well, I really don't dead married men, especially the H one. Not to talk of the one that are close to someone I know. Ah, uh, do I take it as a yes now? Ah, uh, yes, but not as often as the word is. Ah, uh, so how principal are you? My yes is my yes, and my no is my no. Great. I'm not going to make you do things you're not willing to do. Uh, I will not want you to promise me anything. Let's just allow it flow with on its own. As for you, Eliko. All right. <laughs> with that. Champagne. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, so... So, Barrister, where can I meet you up? Oh, yes, of course, I know now. That restaurant beside Golden Age Bank. All right, no problem. Uh, I'll be there right away. Yeah, of course. Thank you. And why not this often? Well, apparently he's not at the office, but he has all the relevant documents that we need, so we're good. Okay, well, looks like someone is going to be eating her favorite seafood today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can have as much as you want, darling. Yeah. And also, you too, little man. Oh, thank you. I'm not feeling it's a boy, right? <laughs> Did you feel that? It kicked. Feel what? It's kicking already? Yeah, I feel it. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, little man. <laughs> it must be a boy. Oh, please. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go meet the barrister and uh... Doctor! Uh, doctor! Oh, what about my son? Yes. My name is Chief Thompson. My son Stephen was brought in with the, with the lady, evacuated from an accident scene. Yes, yes, yes. That's my son. Um, the son is fine. He just admitted I was being brought alongside his team. Had a miscarriage at the river. Oh, yeah. So, how is she now? She's better. We had to carry out an evacuation. So, is she stable? Yes, she's stable by the special dose of blood. What about my son? Yes, yes, my son. Speak now. There are complications, sir. My God. What complications? The complications has to do with the spinal column. Oh, damn. Oh, because of the other incident. But he could work again under expert treatment, you know? They will confide on the teacher for the What? Oh, dear. No. I'm no. sorry, I have to do that. No, 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 no. See what you've cost. See what you have cost. since morning. Eve, please, can you get to the kitchen and prepare something for your husband to eat, please? I'm tired now. But you should stress me. Well, what did you say? Well, it is just that I'm doing it, eh? That's it, she's grieving. She's grieving? Did you say she's grieving? And, and, and what if she's grieving? Will you get inside the kitchen and prepare something for your husband to eat? And that tune will not work for me. You can as well come and drag my hand to the kitchen. Really? Wait, mom, 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 are you talking to me? Mom, mom, no, mom, no, no, no. mom, mom, please, Wait, please. Mom. Are, you, are you talking to me? No, no, mom, mom, please ignore her, mom. Didn't you, we, didn't you hear what she said? Ignore her. Eh? Okay, mommy, just let her be. Steve, Diane would never talk to me in this manner. <laughs> and you threw her out like a piece of rug. Please. Mm. Stop. Uh, 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 
Are you not supposed to be the one doing all these things? You are fit enough to do any type of domestic work. What is wrong with you? I don't understand. Is a mother not supposed to take care of their child? Just as you are doing now. You should have told me that you wanted to stay with your husband alone. I would have come home. I never said that too. Eve, mm. this is the time your husband needs you more so that he can heal fast. But no, you wouldn't. Heal where? I don't understand. Where were you when the doctor said he can never heal? Like, never, ever. God forbid. God forbid. Is that Dr. God? Mm. My son will surely walk again. He will surely walk with his two legs again. Wow. I never knew you had so much faith. A woman of faith. Please don't talk about my mother like that. Then tell her to respect herself. You this girl, eh? you are very evil, you. Me? You are the one who is evil. Tell me, if I was in this position, wouldn't you have thrown me out the way you did to Diana? Eh? Did you just say that to me? No, no. No, 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 if, did you just say that to me? This girl is very wicked. Why did your mom even name you Eve? That is why you are very evil. You, that's, you better change your name. If, even, even the Bible was lenient enough. Stupid girl. Thank you, mom. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm leaving. Leaving? Leaving to where? You, you, you can't just leave. Where are you leaving to? I'm tired, okay? I can't live like this. Just look at me. The doctor said you're never going to work again. That's not true. I'm already making plans to fly myself overseas and, and, and fix myself properly. I will work again. I will be fine. Please don't go. Do you even realize I've lost my baby? I don't even know if you're still fertile. I, I spoke to the doctor. The doctor said I can still have babies if I want that the medications I'm taking have no way interrupted my fertility. I, I'm still good to go. Please, don't, don't do this to me, Eve. Eve, we can still make this work. I can't. I can't, okay? Look, I just want to be with a real man, all right? A real man who would make me feel good, who make me feel better. I can't do this. How you say this to me? I can't. I thought I was your real man. I, I thought you loved me. We, we, we swore to each other for better, for worse. Yeah. That was the same thing you had with Diana. Where is she? What's going on, Eve? Is she going somewhere? Oh, she's leaving. She, mommy, please talk to her. She wants to leave. Please, Eve. To where and why, Eve? Please, I'm begging you. Whatever it is, let us sort it out. Okay? Please. I'm tired, okay? I'm tired! Every day, Eve clean him up. Eve give him his truck. Eve baked him. Don't I deserve a good life? Look at me! Okay, is that the problem? What do you take me from this house? I'm not going to tell you any of those things again. I am do I'm going to do everything myself with the help of a maid. Please. Please don't leave him like this. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Please, my daughter. Please. You've made up your mind. Sorry. Bye. Eve, Eve, please don't go. Eve, don't, don't go. Eve, don't leave me, please. I don't even like her. That guy is evil. She's 
a gold digger and a very bad one at that. Okay? I don't even know what you are doing with yourself. Mind the language, woman. Oh, you think I don't know? You think I have not heard what you are doing with that bitch flourishing around town with her? But I am just waiting for the day that I will catch you red handed. You see, that day, heaven will smile. Can both of you please just stop? No, no, let's just look at your father at his age, at his old age. He's still running around town with young girls. You will leave. Stop! What are you? You want to beat me? Dad! Do you want to beat me? Mom! You know that you cannot do anything. So what, what is that? What, what, what can you do? Why you, you cannot satisfy a bed? Son, sorry. Oh, sorry, don't. Please, no. don't. You know you can move yourself, right? Your mom has just been so unbearable this day. Sorry, son. Sorry. Sorry. Please, sorry. please come. Let's sit. Let's, let's talk about it. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm so sorry. Okay? And I think this is the time we have to bring Diane back. Aren't you so shameless to talk about that? How can you bring her back? How can she accept him again? Because she's a good girl. She's well raised. I'm not going to follow you on that shameless journey. <laughs> you will go. Because if you did not go, nobody will accept us. That woman will just throw us out. Go and bring another wife for your son. Diane has moved on. And I say you should stop. Daddy, talk to your father. Mom, on the contrary, I think that is right. I can't even bring myself to face her. Why will you not? Hey, even if he means not to swallow our chain, we will swallow it. Is it not to beg? We will beg her now. We will beg her. It's not going to be easy. Because Diane has moved on. She's got a job now. And she's taking care of her children. Yeah, that reminds me of this. I even saw her the other day. I saw her, but she didn't see me. This is Diane. She's looking well. Are you serious, Mom? It's not now you're dying and again, but you see her looking very classy, dressed well, her skin was popping. Right. Please, and please help me. Help me talk to them. I want my wife back. And my children too. Please, Dad. Darling, hey, yes, yes. dinner is ready. Uh, why don't you go ahead? I'll join you soon. No. If you're not ready to eat now, then I'll wait for you whenever you're ready. Then we'll eat together. Uh, okay, what about Stephen? Is he eating? Oh, yes, I've already fed him. In fact, he's already sleeping. He needs a lot of rest, you know, so that he can recover. Yes, my dear. Yes. Daddy. Yes. About what I told you before. What was it? Bringing Diane back. What did you say? <laughs> See, we shouldn't rush that. Okay? So that Stephen can become stable. Uh, so he can face whatever will come out of that visit. Okay? Uh, that's what I think. I think you have a point there. You have a point. Mm. He needs to hear from Eve's abandonment. Exactly, exactly. You know, otherwise, he'll be very traumatized. Mm? Yeah. You know what? I'll keep telling him that we are working on it. Absolutely. Yeah. So you now go and wait for me at the dining. I'm, 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 I'm coming. No, I'm right there. no. I'm waiting for you. Whenever you want to eat, we go together. No, go on. I'll, 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 I'll be up now. I'm, I'll join you now. No! I'll join you now. I just... <laughs> I want to finish this. I join you. Just go on now. You'll see me by your back. Hmm. This one that you're pressing your phone, smiling. Uh, no, 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 I'm just sending I'm, me out. No, no, I'm just sending a business message. Don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Waiting no. Yes, I'll be there now. Okay. All right. All right then.
barely talks to me right now. Why? I mean, this is a perfect opportunity for him. What perfect opportunity? Ah, girl, no. I'm not interested in anything, oh. Just forget it. Maybe he's scared of being turned down by his junior colleague. Actually, his employee. What? He owns the company. So I heard. But he just pretends and acts like he's a senior staff. Wow. What a level of humility, girl. Give this guy the green light now, eh? So that he can come back with all the wooing. See husband material now, eh? You see my husband material, if I may ask, because he has a company? Girl, we need to review your idea of an ideal man. Wait, Diane. A man with such level of humility eh, will be loyal to his wife mm. and love her till death. Wow. Yes. You know, you're single, he's single. You guys can literally just connect. I can make it happen. She know you need a man. You're lonely. Mm. I'm lonely. <laughs> Girl, you're a big fool. <laughs> Thank you. But come to think of it, why do you think he avoid talking to you? I don't know. Ever since I resumed, he just wouldn't. He doesn't even look me in the eye. His response and questions, whatever, are just very short. Good morning, hello, how are you? Stuff like that. He can't even look me in the eye. So, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want to make you feel he's taking advantage of the whole thing. Girl, at this point, I don't even care. I don't care. Even if he wants something, I can't give him. So there's no need. For now. You don't care for now. Forever. That's for I don't care forever. Really? Mm-hmm. I just want to concentrate on my work, take care of my kids, and live my life. No man problem. I don't... That has always been your song for the past three months. Don't you like the music? Don't I like the music? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I know someday. Someday what? You will get over it. Oh, please. <laughs> Guys, stop. Yes, be real. Daddy, why are you smiling? The Pressing your phone. The president has approved my proposal. And so I'm going to see Mary. Wow, congratulations. Are you serious? <laughs> so, are they going to be Jefferson tomorrow morning? I'm so happy for you. What? So fast? Well, what? you know, so that he doesn't change his mind. Okay, then I will have to go pack your things. Thank you so much. You might do it now so that you don't rush in the morning. Anything for you. Thank you so much. Anything for you. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> Hello, Daddy Boo. Yes, sweetheart. Um, will you accompany me to Abuja first thing tomorrow morning? Would that be so urgent? No, actually. Uh, I would have loved to get some stuff for the trip. You don't need that. As soon as we get there, I'll take you on shopping. Uh, but I, I'll, I'll still like to get some important things now, you know? Okay, so I'll do some transfers now. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You don't need to thank me. I mean, I'll take care of you, you know that? <laughs> okay, you're doing well. Okay, baby, now bye. See you later. Yeah. Why are you glowing like somebody who's uh, who's just gotten married? Ah. You're glowing like a new bride. How did you know he proposed to me? He proposed? <laughs> I thought you said he was a married man. Uh, an advanced one at that. Too. And you're still going ahead to marry him? Ah. What is wrong with you? I don't see how I'm married now. I don't see. You get anyone? Why would you even say that? Okay, well, calm down now. You, these things take time. You will definitely find somebody. I'm tired of waiting. You're I'm tired of waiting? <laughs> Do you realize that if you go ahead and marry this man, you'll be destroying another woman's marriage? Hey, 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 please, Diane. I don't want us to have this discussion again. <laughs> um, so, tell me, how is Steve? <laughs> I don't know that one. When last did he so when are you going to introduce me to him? Since since you don't want us to have this discussion, when are you introducing him to me? Uh, very soon. What do you mean very soon? You guys have gone this far. He proposed to you. Um, Why can't I meet him? 
Oh, when last did you talk to Steve? You know, you are sounding like somebody that has skeletons in your cupboard. But it's okay. It's okay. Steve is there behaving like a baby that they are denying breast milk. Hey, just give him a chance now. Give him a chance. What's wrong with you? My divorce is barely nine months. How do you think I'm going to be able to jump into another relationship so fast? Listen, Diane, divorce is not a widow. Hmm? Even if you have to move on. Uh, my dear, Steve himself has actually moved on. Eh? Good for him. Good for him. Um, when last did you hear from from Steve? I don't know. I don't. He doesn't call me. He calls my mom whenever he wants to meet his kids, and that's it. It's only his dad that keeps in touch. Okay, well, let me know. Come and follow this road. I'm tired. <laughs> we are almost there. Let's go, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to wear bathroom silk. No, no, I, 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 I can't. I can't. I can't just be like that. You know, watch me. As a newest bride, watch me. Problem. Problem. <laughs> You know I can be your driver for the whole day, if you don't mind. Uh, I was actually going for a PTF. PTF? What's that? Parents Teachers Forum. Oh, PTA. Yeah, that's what they used to call it. Oh, okay. I guess things are actually changing. So why are you going? Well, who are you going to this PTA for? Is it your siblings or...? My kids. Kids? You look surprised. You have kids? <sighs> Clearly you didn't read my CV. Oh. Well, that's because I ordered to know your message. I'm a divorced mother of two. Sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. I'm no longer brooding over that. I just want to concentrate on taking care of my kids. That's what I'm saying. Like, why are you taking care of you and your kids? So that we can both live for them together. You're not even going to ask what caused my divorce? I don't care. I just want to know you. You can't sleep? Why can't you sleep? Because I want to talk to my daddy. You want to talk to your daddy? Um, it's late. You can't talk to your daddy now. But I promise you, tomorrow you'll talk to him. Okay? Okay. Alright. Do you want to stay here or you want to go back to the room? Your sister is sleeping. No, sorry. I know she's sleeping. You want to be here? No worry, just stay. Mm. 
Thank you for accepting to come on this date with me. Sir, you promised it was going to be as casual as possible. Can you stop addressing me as sir? Just call me by my name. Sir, we just left the office and we're here for lunch. It's not... It's still a date. Oh. Okay, you never give up, do you? You see, I always go all in for what I want. Diane. Please, what I'm about to say won't take the best of you. Okay. I have been thinking about it for quite a while now, and I have decided to give you a referral to a friend's company. Why? Did I do something? Don't you like the way I walk? Is there? I, I thought I thought I was good at, at my job. I mean, what, why? I I I. You did nothing wrong. You see, I just want a fair playing ground to ask you out on a proper date. This, our work relationship is messing everything up. Oh. And what if I refuse? Then I'll accept my fate. I accept your offer then. <coughs> no, why are you looking at me like that? Are you serious? I'm serious. Literally, you didn't learn how to approach a woman properly or talk to her. Oh. So this is your gimmick, this is your tactic. It's not working. You are so impossible. <laughs> I know, right? So I'm going to stay here. I, I like my job here. And? And what? What about our date? Date? You need to work on that aspect. Really, you, you, if, if everybody around me talks this way, then literally nobody's doing the job now. <laughs> yeah. Sir. Call me sir one more time. <laughs> no, just say sir again. I'll remove 20,000 from your salary. <laughs> That's your fine for this, for this month. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, Helen, thank you for welcoming us into your house. Brought this for the family. And you know, drinks don't stand alone. Uh, something must support it. So we are supporting the drink with this. I'll say thank you again. My Amy, please. On behalf of my son, we are sorry. He has learned his lessons. My daughter, please forgive. Please, we beg you to talk to her uh, so that we can be forgiven. You know what our son has done is, is so terrible. Please. But uh, is youthful exuberance? Eh? You cannot be so angry with your head that you wear your cap on your knee. Please forgive our son, please. Is it not your stupid son? Your stupid son that opened his stupid mouth and looked me in the face and told me he's no more interested in my daughter. And you want me to forgive? Eh? There is no name your son did not call my daughter. To the extent of calling her an Amoeba. You want me to forgive. I will not. I will not. My in-law, please, calm down. You are a mother. Look at you. So are you. Have you forgotten your role in the whole thing? You. You. I am ashamed to call you a woman, not to call you a mother. I am even ashamed of See, anything you call me, I own it. Please uh, forgive my son. Please, please, in law, please uh, forgive. Uh, forgive everybody. What has happened has happened. Please, uh, please, and we're please. very sorry. Forgive us, please. Please. Please, you have overstayed your welcome. Stand up and go. Ah! Oh, go! Go! I forgive him. What did you say? After everything he did to you, eh? He's the father of my kids. You're very, very stupid. You're very stupid. I'm even doubting if you're my daughter. Helen, 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 how many times did I call you? Do you want me to sit on the ground? 
Eh? Is it not the same mouth that when we came to marry you? You know, I came with your husband to marry you. We are at the back here with the lap. Is it not the same mouth? Eh? Please. And she's a wonderful woman. She's a wonderful wife. What an angel. Eh? Please. Hi. For the sake of these children, forgive. Please. Eh? Please. Please, I beg you. Yes, because of this, our grandchildren never can tell God just want to turn the table around for your daughter. Let me tell you. God cannot give my daughter bread. Take it back and give her rotten egg. It is not possible. It is nemesis that is affecting your family. It is nemesis. Please. Eh. You are an idiot, a big idiot. So you're telling me that you were willing to change your son's name from your next of kin to that of a child who's not even been born? I'm sorry, I didn't know what I was thinking. No, shut up your mouth. You're sorry for what? What did my child ever do to you? What is, no, no, tell me, what's this offense? I'm so sorry. You look at me when you're talking. You are sorry. You are a goat. A big goat. So if that boy grows up, you would have told him that you gave his birthright to a child who you have not even confirmed its paternity. Ah, you should have died in that That's accident. Diana, can you just find it here? Oh, shut up! I should forgive you. Me, I should forgive you. You, sh you, you should have died in that accident. What's the use of having you? Please, I'm Rubbish. sorry. You are sorry. Diana, Diana. Oh, come on, get out of this place. If Diana, my hand touch you. Diana, please. If my hand touch you, that your forehead will land on top of this. Diana. Rubbish. Diana, please. Listen to me, Diana. Diana! You make me happy you now. Yes. Really? Thank you. You know what? I'm thinking of getting an apartment. In one of those posh areas where I'll skate some town. Really? Thank you so much, my chief. But I don't think I need a new apartment, especially the one outside the town, mm -hmm. because of my job. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Okay. What if I get you a um, big business, you know, one of those posh areas to... That sounds interesting, my chief. Uh, but why do you want to do all of this for me? Nonsense. I don't owe her anything. Okay. I love you. I do. So I do. You do? I do. again. How are you and your family doing? We're fine, we're fine. Anyways, I came here to pick up some stuff from my sister's shop. Oh really? Your sister has a shop there? Yes, at the stream. So that's where I buy all the stuff I buy. I actually want to pick up some stuff now. That would be nice. Why don't you wait for me and then I pick up some stuff and then I drop you home? That would be nice of you, my chief. Great, so wait for me now. Students Association meeting to attend. And I'd like you to attend with me. Chief! Yes. It's an innocent request, isn't it? I, I take it as a yes. <laughs> joy, joy. Great. <laughs> Me more. 
when I remember how Steve's mom supported him as if she wasn't a woman like me. It's okay. Do you know what she told my mom? What? That marriage is not by force. If her son doesn't want me anymore, I should go. What? Really? Ah. She disappointed me. I was surprised because I know that me and her we didn't have any problem. You know. I understand. It's okay. You have to put yourself together. Mm? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, of course not. I'm fine. Don't cry. Okay. No, I won't. Okay, you're gonna wig that even again. Uh, uh, of course. That's ah, why I wanted to do that. Come here. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, listen. Uh, I, 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 I'll open any kind of pieces of choice for you. I'll think about it. Now, let it not be for too long. You know we're going to Dubai. Okay. Hmm. I come here. Let's your answer. Yeah. Are you going to work? Clearly. Is there a problem? What about my food? Um, you can go to the kitchen. I'm sure you can make something for yourself. C come on, Diana. Look at my condition. I can barely do anything for myself. What's wrong with you? Diana. Oh, but you still have your phone, right? Yes. Good. Make some calls. You always know how to do it. Tell me you had gone back to your husband. Is that why your face is like this? Do you still love him? No. So why did you go back? He's the father of my kids. So what happens to us? You should stop it. We're supposed to be at work, at the office right now. Stop it. Stop it. Why? Diane, you're making this relationship look like a child's play. I am serious with you, for God's sake. I told you not to be. I can't. My heart beats for you. My heart keeps yearning for you more and more and more and more. I just got relationship just like that my heart needs my heart needs healing okay just i need time to to heal and process my thoughts and actions can you give me your heart oh now you're about to
Baby, you're back. Uh, baby, just just a second, please. I want to have a word with you. I promise I won't take too much of your time. What's that? You think you have that much power to take my time? If you have anything important to say, just say it, I beg. I'll just go straight to the point then. I want you to stop working. If you stop working, I promise I will pay you monthly for it. Steve. You have some nerve. I should stop working. But I need your attention. As your nanny. I don't care how much you think you have or how much you're paying me. Not you or anybody will stop me from my job. Do you understand? Diana, please just listen to me. You are a rabbit. You are in no position to negotiate or ask me for anything. Diana, please just, just consider what I'm saying. I need you around, Diana. You know, I haven't pushed you from that chair yet. Diana, when Diana. I, when I feed you, you shouldn't actually pray before you eat. Please listen to me. Stop doing this to me, Diana. Stop walking out on me. child or am I your nanny that should be wearing you diapers? Is this not the bathroom? Can't you roll yourself into the bathroom? What's the essence of this useless, useless wheelchair here? I'm going to lock this bathroom and I'll take this key away. And if you don't fix this mess, you're going to stay here. Try not to wave the dragon. At least I'm going to freshen up so I can sleep. Please. Yes, you're in damage. Have you not been listening to me? I should help you freshen up. I ask again, where is that stupid mother of yours? Oh, if my son does not want to, the, the lock and the, if you cannot force him to, the, where is she? Oh, she has left me. Half dead human being, she has left you for me. As the nanny that I am. <laughs> oh God, I, I pity you. Shabby just cooked, eat now. Hey. 
Steve. What is that? Why is the place still on the table? Is there a problem? There's a big problem. But I just finished eating. Oh, you kept it there for your mate to come and carry. Is that it? I'm sorry. Do you realize that I have visitors and they can walk in here anytime, any day? This is what they will meet. I will take it to the kitchen. Take it to the kitchen. I will take it. Come on, carry that in, into the kitchen. Wait, wait, what, what do you think you're doing? I can do it. Do it now. I can do it, then you left it there for me. Wait, why are you looking at me like that? What can you do? Rob, look at you, you are reading. What are you reading? You are crippled. You are, what's the essence of the knowledge? Rubbish. Where is the remote? It's on the, on the chair. Come so. and bring it! What Who do you want me you? to do? Wash the plate Co or bring the remote? Come and bring the remote. My friend, get out! Spoil the door. Spoil it, Steve. Spoil it. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to see? Who's that? Oh, it's, n it's no one important. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. It's okay, Dalo. I'll talk to you later. Mwah. Who was that? Are you mad? What's wrong with you? Can't you see I'm on a call? I, I thought you were talking to a man. So? Really, why are you still awake by this time? You should be in bed. I just wanted to spend some time with you. <laughs> you wanted to spend some time with me? Wow. <laughs> wow. Why are you doing this to me? Well, since you're less busy, go get me a glass of water. Why are you tormenting me? Can't you find it in your heart to forgive me? I don't understand. Man, what do you really want? I'm the one seated here alone, by myself, making a phone call, quietly, peacefully. You will your crippled self out of your room, disrupting my call, yet I'm the one who's tormenting you. Diana, this is not fair. Good night. And God bless. Human beings. Please, please don't go. You can't leave me this way. For the sake of our children, please. Don't you even go there. Do you know how much I begged you? I begged you I was willing to make this marriage work. But you didn't want it. You told me you didn't love me anymore. So where is all this emotional blackmail coming from? You chose Eve over me. Steven, where is Eve? Where is Eve today? Oh, you think your children don't know what you did? They know what you did and you will suffer for it. You see, every single pain that you've caused me and my kids, you will suffer for it. I'm sorry. Diana, please don't do this to me. Please. You will I suffer. Beg you, I beg you see, everything you made me go through in this life, you will reap it. Please. You will not find peace until you reap the wickedness that you sowed. Please forgive me. Please, find it in your heart to forgive me. Don't leave me this way, Diana. I can't do anything without you. Please don't go. Diana, Diana, please. Diana. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is he gonna burn? <laughs> 
didn't go back there because I forgive him. Neither did I go back there for the sake of my children. I went there to take revenge on him for what he did to me. But you didn't have to put your, your heart through all that trouble, eh? I know, but I had to. If I didn't go back, I wouldn't have known what Steve was capable of. And I'm happy because I was able to lay hands on his properties, the documents to his properties, which belongs to my children. You got the documents? Yes, mm -hmm. I got it, and I'm keeping them because they belong to my children and I will not let him or any other person take that away from me. It's okay. So I'm not judging you, my daughter. I'm not judging you. I only want peace to return to your heart so that you have a fresh start. Mm -hmm. No, there's peace in my heart already. Mm. It's okay. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I'm happy for you. Now I'm happy. <laughs> mm, see me now. <laughs> hey, I'm happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. She left me. I am finished. No. No, my son. You are not finished. You still have a life before you, a beautiful life. I told you so, life. Look at me, mom. I have nothing. I have nothing. How do I survive? No, you have me. You have your father. And you have your life. But as for that girl, that useless girl, that mannerless idiot, that Jezebel, that was sent from the pit of hell to come and destroy my soul. It shall never be well with her. It shall never be well with her. You have me and you have life. Everything will be fine. No. Just leave me. I want to be left alone. Let me stay here alone. If I die, I die. I am tired. You will not die. You will not die, my child. I will be here with you. I will not blame you. I will be with you until you are fine. Okay? It's fine. Okay? I will blame you. I will not. It's fine.
Yeah.